Hi, it's me. I'm back with another episode of my super secret podcast that we cannot talk about. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love a good mystery almost as much as I love pie. And that's saying a lot. But did you know I also like dancing? Well, today's mystery has both. I'm Carly Q, and this is Who When Wow Mystery Edition. Our past is vast and wild. Many things have brought us to this day. As history has been compiled, some important details have slipped away. In our spectacular shared existence, we consider it our business to recognize a few folks you may not know. Butthead. That stands for Bureau of Universal Time Travel Historical Exploration Division. Hi, everybody. It's okay. You can laugh at that. I'm here. It's me, Barbecue. I'm a junior temporal analyst. How are you? But that just pays the bills. What I really do is investigate history's mysteries through this secret, yet very exciting, podcast. I repeat, what you are listening to is a secret. You never heard the words you're hearing me say right now, okay? Okay. I'm feeling super crunchy, sweet, and salty. My desk is in the basement of the Butthead building. There aren't many benefits to being in the basement, but it does mean I get to eat as much of the complimentary candy as I want. I am the keeper of the candy dish. And my job is to catalog random historical events. Catalog. They send down audio files from upstairs Here on little file. thumb drives. Let's see what it is today. Nelly Bly, investigative reporter, first person to travel around the world, completed. Then in it's my job to days. tag it with a case number, Nelly note it on the master Bly. file, cross reference it world. with the time frame, and blah 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 blah, days. blah 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 blah. That doesn't seem very fast, to be honest. And it's boring work. Catalog. But sometimes. Strasbourg, July 1518. Dancing plague. Dancing? Okay. This one was definitely worth investigating. Why would they time seal a plague? I had to know more. I know a plague is a serious, contagious disease. Lucky for us, the Bureau has a really cool time traveling elevator that I've been using to investigate these what mysteries. Kind of plague involves. Dancing? But I don't exactly have clearance to use it, so I have to pick my moments. I was about to head to the elevator when. Hey, Carly Q. Ugh. Lewis. I always forget how depressing it is down here. This is my nosy co-worker who's always coming downstairs to Just bug me. Sad, really. What's another word for enemy? Nemesis? Antagonist? You don't mind if I grab myself a bubbly water, yes, do you? Yes, Lewis is my antagonist. Kind of and the as stairs. usual, the first thing he did was grab a bottle of fizzy water Ooh, from the fridge. Candy. And a handful of complimentary candy. So... What you doing, Carly Q? Ooh, this candy dish is less than one third full, and that's a no no. <laughs> Maybe somebody's been enjoying the company perks a little too much. What? That is not true, Lewis. I fill it up every morning. <laughs> well, there's only a third left, and you're down here by your lonesome, right? Who ate the other two thirds of the candy? I. Well, I will only admit this here, but Lewis had a point. Well, I have been sharing with my friend Nibbles. And I hate oh, it when he uses Carly. fractions against me. Tell me you haven't been feeding the rats again. What? No! Nibbles is the, the delivery lady. Duh. Wee wee! Wee wee! <laughs> I love this candy so much, it makes me want to squeak. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just think you want to be careful about how much of this stuff you eat. <laughs> It's not good for you. Well, it's not good for you either. Ugh! Ew! Lemon! Who likes those? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you might want to think about refilling that thing. Or moving away from your desk. Or maybe both. <laughs> but I gotta go. Someone's gonna be late for a meeting. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> Bye, Carly Q! Talking to him is like eating an old potato. But back to the dancing plague. Okay, h -Dad. I had to focus. Let's see what we can figure out. I pulled out my handheld digital assistance device. h -Dad. ready 
that's HDAD for short, and plugged in the clues from the time-sealed file. HDAD is supposed to have useful information for me, but all I got was... Strasbourg, a city located in Alsace, a cultural region in what is now eastern France, on the Rhine River's west bank, next to Germany. Right. Okay, but dancing. Dancing. Strasbourg, 1518. Dance. The activity of body movement for pleasure or in order to entertain others. No, H. Dad, I want to know what happened in Strasbourg in July 1518 that included dancing. Dancing woman emoji. French flag emoji. German flag emoji. H. Dad. Analyzing. While Analyzing. H. Dad did his thing, Analyzing. I shared Analyzing. another candy Analyzing. with Nibbles the Rat. Nibbles, you want some candy? She was in her usual Analyzing. hangout behind the fake Analyzing. plant near my That's desk. It, not too much. Sometimes okay. I wish she could talk all the time and not just when we time travel. Yeah, I literally have no idea what you're saying to me right now. Attention, but head of Ooh, but you can hop into my bag and join me for another mystery if you want. Lunch break is the perfect time to sneak into the time-traveling elevator. Nibbles hopped into my bag, in, I grabbed Nibbles. H-Dad and the candy dish, and the three of us took off for the elevator, operated by Odie. Our next time-travel adventure awaits! Oh, look, it's my basement companion again. Odie, I missed you, friend. We are friends. Absolutely. Look, I have a gift for you. You brought me an empty candy dish. Uh, huh, yeah. Well, it's for you to use when you have candy, obviously. Thank you, I guess. Odie, you're gonna love this. I found another time-sealed file this morning. July 1518, Strasbourg, and it has something to do with dancing and a plague. I do not like dancing or plagues. Really? Well, I mean, nobody likes plagues, but no dancing at all? I said what I said. You dance, right, Nibbles? I made a mental note to take Odie dancing one day. Get her out of this elevator. Hit the dance floor. Just a couple of gals. Oh, you are most likely referring to the famous dancing plague of 1518, where people actually danced themselves to death. What? Why would people do that? You tell me. You're the detective. Yes, I am. Well, remember, Detective Basement Companion, sometimes too much of a good thing can be a very bad thing. I don't understand. You need to get going. You don't have all day. Remember the time travel rules, huh? You may observe and ask questions, but do not meddle. You will automatically speak and understand the native language of everyone within range of the elevator. Got it. And always wait at least 30 minutes after you eat before swimming. Is that a time travel rule? No, but it's important. When you arrive back in time, a card reader will remain where you came in. You must return to it before the end of your lunch break. Mm Mm-hmm. And since the file's time sealed, I know I can't go back during the event. Correct. For this file, the closest I can do is get you there a few hours after the event. Great. Then I can ask questions while everything's still fresh. Then here you go. But whatever you do, don't dance. (laughs) Whoa! What happens if I dance? I'm here! I traveled all the way back to Strasbourg in 1518. H-Dad? Strasbourg, 1518. A free city located in Alsace. A cultural region in what is now eastern France on the Rhine River's west bank next to Germany. Yeah, you said that already. French flag emoji, German flag emoji, handshake emoji. Let's see. My highly trained, extremely sensitive detective eyeballs noticed a few important details Lots right of away. Oh, excuse me, horse. First, people were everywhere, but no one was on their phone. We have not cars, but lots of horses and carts. Sleepy people. Most people looked really tired, even though it was a beautiful day. Flowers over there, and oh, 
Oh, nibbles. Yeah, you can probably peek your head out here. Something tells me these folks are used to rats, and it is a little steamy. I think it's the middle of summer. <laughs> and I'm basically wearing a full-length fur coat in here. You hear that? Sounds like something's going on in town. Come on, let's check it out. And maybe find us some water while we're at it? All that candy made me parched. Maybe a sports drink. I like the boom kind. Um, I don't think they... Whoa. Look at all these people sleeping on the ground. Wait, is that how sleeping was done back in this time? When were beds invented? You know, I actually think they're just unconscious. <laughs> Look, you see those people fanning them? Maybe they passed out from the heat. It is so important to hydrate. For real. <laughs> I'm going to talk to this woman. H-Dad, activate the time elevator's translation feature. H-Dad, activating translation feature. Uh, excuse me, Frau. Can you tell me what happened here? Why are so many people on the ground? Was it the heat or, or the plague thing? Or are they meditating? Are you the Inquisitor sent by the parish? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Sure. It's about time. The people are sick because of the dancing. So much dancing. They couldn't stop. That many people? They all just started dancing at once? No, no. It was Frau Trophea first. We all thought she must have gotten some good news when we saw her dancing in the street. See, we've been suffering from a horrible famine. After bitter winters and scorching hot summers damaged most of our crops. No one stopped Frau Trophea from dancing because we all could use some fun. Woo! I get that. But then, she just kept at it and her family got worried. After almost a week, she started to look quite bad. And then she collapsed. After a week? Wow. I start to sweat after one song. The people gathered around, gave her water to drink, fanned her face from the heat. And then, a few moments later, she got back up and actually started dancing again, like it had never happened. Did she say anything while she was dancing? Not that I could understand. Mostly just mumbling. Okay, so that was Frau Trophia. When did other people start doing it? Well, each day more and more people would join in. It was almost as if the dancing was contagious. Before we knew it, there were over 400 people dancing. Twirls and jigs, stomps and swaying. I've never seen anything like it. 400 people? What do you think is causing this? I, I don't know if I should say. You should speak with the doctor. I would love to speak with the doctor. But come on, you can tell me. I'm the Inquisitor, remember? Well, I suppose... Here, come closer. Yes? I think Frau Trophea was possessed! Oh, okay. By the devil! That is a lot. Maybe she read or saw something that got inside her head and told her to keep dancing. And then it jumped from person to person. You must beware. It can take over anyone's mind. We're not safe here. Yeah, maybe we should leave Devil Lady here with her sleeping friends and go find that doctor. Good idea. No! You have a talking rat on your shoulder. Now the animals are possessed. No! Rude. Rude. Maybe you should try and stay hidden for now. Get me a blue sports drink? And I'll lay low forever. Well, let's find that town doctor first. Fine, but then a drink of some sort, any sort. I'll even drink the light green stuff. Mmm, tart. Would you quit it with the sports drinks? I have to concentrate on finding a doctor in this crowd. Medic! Uh, medic! We need medical attention over here. We need a Gatorade, IV, and a side order of pie. Stop! Nibbles! What? I'm just trying to help find a doctor. Th that's not how you do it. We're detectives. We use the power of observation. Look. You see that guy over there with the bag and the hat? He looks like he's helping somebody on the ground. Right, so maybe... I want you to rest and absolutely no tensing. Uh, excuse me? Um, I'm looking for the doctor? Why, yes. I'm the doctor. Oh, great. How did I know that? Are you suffering symptoms? No, no, no. I, I was just passing through and I saw all these people passed out and the commotion and... Yes, we've had quite the scare. Half the town has come down with the most confusing affliction. I can only describe it as some sort of dancing mania. But what caused it? I wish I knew. 
I've never seen anything like it. When it took over the first dozen people, I prescribed more dancing. Did what? Did you hear that voice? N no, no, I did not hear that voice. But hold on. What do you mean you told people who couldn't stop dancing to keep dancing more? Well, it was either keep dancing or my usual go-to cure. Here, let me just reach in here and get my leeches. Ah! Face emoji. Now that time I definitely heard something. No, 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 that was just me. I'm just extremely screaming face. But whatever for? Five out of six medieval healthcare professionals recommend using leeches. It's very simple. You just let the slimy creatures latch onto your skin, then they get to work sucking out all of your blood. The bad blood, anyway. Well, that is a wonderful image I'll be able to carry with me through the rest of the day and perhaps my entire life. Well, I must be off to help my patients. Back in the bag, my dear friends. <laughs> blood, blood, plenty of blood. Ugh, that was disgusting. <laughs> okay, Nibbles, so far we know that one person started dancing and then others joined in. For some reason, hundreds of people started dancing and then didn't. Or couldn't stop. H-Dad, is there any chance that you finished... Analyzing! Analyzing! <sighs> Come on, H-Tad, we're running out of time. Hey, don't whack it. That only works in the whole Poll analysis complete. Oh, never mind. Multiple scientific theories were later presented to explain the dancing plague. Theory one, ergotism, a fungal infection causing people to convulse and hallucinate, resulting from a mold that grows on damp rye. Ugh, mm, yuck. Now that sounds promising. This theory has been disproven. All right, I'm just going to stop talking now. Many of the townsfolk here would not have consumed rye at this time, making this theory irrelevant. <sighs> that one sounded so good, too. Well, I mean, it sounded gross, but it was, you know, viable. Rye wasn't available to many of the townspeople at this time due to poor crop output. Theory 2. Stress-induced mass hysteria. Wild eyes emoji. Mass hysteria? This can result from prolonged psychological stress, causing victims to enter an involuntary trance state that can be highly contagious. Wait, H-Dad, can you replay what the townsperson said about the hardships they've been facing? Searching. Searching. Replaying transcript from random townsperson. We've been suffering from a horrible famine after bitter winters and scorching hot summers damaged most of our crops. That's it. They've been suffering from very hard times, which opened them up to stress-induced mass hysteria. I think we did it. We cracked the case. <laughs> Are you... is that supposed to be dancing? Yes, I'm dancing with joy. What's the problem? You are doing jumping jacks. That is not a dance move. It is, to me. It is my happy dance. But what if the plague here was simpler? What if it was just a case of following the leader? Huh? I mean, times are tough here. These folks have been suffering for a long time, right? Suddenly it looks like someone in the town is actually having fun. Maybe everyone else wanted it on the fun, eh? Huh. I guess that could make sense. Maybe people here are so stressed out, they can't tell the difference between enough and too much. Kind of like us with that candy dish. Kind of, only without all the annoying physical activity. I wonder if this has ever happened before. H-Dad, have there been other times in history with dancing plagues? Affirmative. Dancing mania has occurred in numerous German towns. Kolbig in 1021, Erfurt in 1247, Aachen in 1374, Trier in 1467, wow. Mars Colony Beta. So this oh, wasn't a unique either. thing. Incoming message from Butt Headquarters. Lunch time is over. Finish chewing and get back to work. So, all these instances of dancing mania could have completely different explanations, right? Some could be hysteria, some could be the mold thing, some people might love you jumping jacks. Ha ha. All right, so there could be more than one explanation. You're right. Well, at least we know more about what exactly happened here. And avoided the leech thing. <laughs> True. Maybe Odie will have some advice. And maybe a drink of water? <gasps> or iced tea! Oh, iced tea would be nice. And how. All right, here's the elevator. And let me just get the key card and...
Welcome back, basement companion. Did you find what you were looking for? Sort of? It sounds like the dancing mania in Strasbourg was probably caused by stress-induced mass hysteria, but it happened lots of other places too. And Nibbles pointed out that it could have a totally different explanation each time it occurred. I guess the short answer is, no one really knows for sure. And I think that's okay. That is okay. Your rat drinking out of my thermos is not. <gasps> Excuse me, Nibbles! Stop that! Sorry. Yeah, there's still a lot we don't know about what happened in Strasbourg, but... You know, nowadays, we have a lot of ways to solve these kinds of problems, so I don't think there's another dancing plague in our immediate future. That sounds like good detective work. I just really wish I found out why all those people started dancing in the first place. Candy? Oh, no thank you. I've already had way too much. Ah, then you have learned something important. Oh, too Too much much of a good thing 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 can be a a very very bad bad thing. thing. Dancing, candy, yeah, okay, now I see what you mean. Have a pleasant rest of your day, basement companion. You too, Odie. And we need to go dancing soon. I said goodbye. Okay. Too much of a good thing, huh? Even candy. I walked back to my desk thinking about what Odie had said. And I decided to take the long way back. Sorry, Nibbles. Moving all the extra candy from the basement to the break room upstairs. At least I got your sports drink. And at least I can still do my happy dance. Ahem. Okay, happy dance. The mystery of the dancing plague is still a mystery, but we learned a whole lot today, and we had an amazing adventure. in good shape, though. Until next time, my friends, this is Carly Q signing off from my super secret podcast. And remember, you never heard this. H Dead initiating end credits mode. Who and Wow Mystery Edition is an original Tinkercast production with help from Gen Z Media. Handshake emoji, high five emoji. For Tinkercast, the executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. The shows are written by Aaron Weissman, Danielle Nikki, Tom Van Kalken, Kenny Curtis, and Mindy Thomas. Carly Shiraki is a producing consultant. Big shout outs to Jed Anderson, Steph Sosa, Henry Moskal, Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall. Rebecca Caban, Sona Ali Mohammed, Anna Daniker, Anna Zagorski, and the rest of the team at Tinkercast. Megaphone emoji, applause emoji. Who and Wow's theme song was composed and performed by The Pop Ups. For more information on their three time Grammy nominated all ages music, find them at thepopups.com. Producers for Gen Z Media are David Kreisman, Ben Strauss, Chris Terry, Claire McClanahan, and Amy Servini at gzmshows.com. Sound design and editing is by Chris Terry and Oded Lev Ari. Voice editing by Yoni Reckham. Headphones emoji. Microphone emoji. Thumbs up emoji. Original music was created by Jennifer Rokamp. And voice direction is handled by David Kreisman. Our main cast features Carly Shiraki as Carly Q. Brandon Salerno as Lewis. Melissa Vanderschiff as Nibbles the Rat. Kenny Curtis as h Dad, And Angela Desai as Odie. Want to explore Who and Wow's mysteries even further? You can find free activities and resources to extend the wow at whowenwow.com. And if you have a time-sealed mystery you want Carly Q to explore, email us at hello at tinkercast.com. H-Dad, powering off.